my great pleasure to introduce the next inductee, the one, the only, Joe Bob Smith. <laughs> Thank you, Cliff. Um, I want to thank Mike and Cindy. Not only do you guys keep this profession alive and current each year by hosting this fabulous festival, but you also keep its history alive by having this Massage Therapy Hall of Fame. So I thank you, and I thank you for, for being inducted here along with this incredible group of trailblazers. When I found out I was, I was going to be inducted, I thought, wait a minute, I'm not done. I'm still working. I have a lot more to do. Uh, but when somebody says they're going to induct you into the Hall of Fame, you don't say no. So, uh, so here I am, and I look back on my career, which I call a series of happy accidents that are connected by my mantra, which is, leave the world a little better than when you found it. And this is something that I've tried to do with my life and with uh, massage, and specifically massage education through my own school and other schools. I've tried to, I've tried to raise uh, the bar on education. And along the way, I realized that no matter how far we tried to go as a profession, we could only go so far with this anchor attached to us. And that anchor is the massage parlors and the prostitution and the human trafficking that, that it has attached itself to us and hijacked the name massage and is a leech on our profession. And Leslie Young brought this up in her keynote last night, that this is not something we can continue to shy away from. It's something that we must look at head on, and we must take massage back. And I'm lucky in my role now with the California Massage Therapy Council that I'm able to do that. So I have a lot of people that got me here from my wife, my parents, friends, family, colleagues, many of whom are here in the room tonight. But one person I want to call out individually is Linda Solian Wolf, who can't be with us tonight. But she would be the first to tell you that massage is what is, is why she's alive today. As her gratitude, she created this global massage makes me happy day, which uh, sounds, sounds benign and rather nice, but actually she's gotten a lot of pushback from because a lot of people, a lot of massage therapists don't want to use massage and happy together because they think it conjures up thoughts of happy endings. But I'm here to say that we're not going to let the criminals hijack massage from us, and we're not going to let them take away our happiness. And if anything makes, something, makes someone more happy, it's massage. And if the world needs something today, it's happy. So in order for us to make the world a little better place than when we found it, I hope that you will all join me in giving the world a little more massage and a little more happy. So thank you.